If you do a lot of sheet goods processing with a table saw, I've got an accessory you really need. Hey everybody, it's Ben with ADFD Designs in Decatur, Texas. If you need a reminder, historically we are a production shop. We've done a number of different things over the years, but the basic idea behind production work is still the same. A long time ago, we were very big in the speaker box business, and we processed four or five full bundles of sheet goods every week. And every single sheet went through this table saw on the way to other workstations. In order to do that, we used the single best sheet processing table saw accessory ever. And here it is. It seems pretty basic, but what makes this saw so productive is a few pieces of two and three eighths inch pipe. You'll see a lot of shops that use different supports for handling sheet goods, all of which are flimsy and insecure. Our version of a sheet rest is really good because it's heavy, it's stable, and will last forever. This particular one is over 20 years old and it's easily processed 100 semi loads of MDF and plywood. I could tell you that there's something magical about the way we made this, but there really isn't. To make this, I started with a six foot piece of two and three eighths inch pipe. I estimated the length of the legs, notched and welded those on, and then did numerous test fits to make sure that when we attach the feet, the finished product will be the exact size to match this saw. Keep in mind that all table saws are not the same height and this support for this saw does not match that support for that saw. We have two different ones that are different heights. The other great thing about this support is it takes up virtually no room when it's not in use. And it simply can't be destroyed. So if you're working in a shop where this might come in handy, think about making one for yourself. Having this rest allowed us to bring in full bundles of materials on a forklift and move sheets quickly one at a time through the saw. Those sheets would then be piled at the end of this saw to go to the next saw for further processing. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. If you want to see more of our videos, subscribe to our channel and follow along. If you're ever in the area, come and see us in Decatur, Texas.